All right, so going back to another video. And in today's video, um, this is just gonna be a video. So remember, so for people who watched last video, which by the time this comes out, it's probably not gonna be that much people. But anyway, so you might have saw that I was a skeleton. Um, and I just wanted to show you the mod I use. Yes, that's right, it's a mod. <laughs> but anyway, so I just want to show you the mod I use and how, well, like how I got the skeleton. Actually, no, not how I got the skeleton. That's kind of simple. But just like, so I'm just going to show you the mod. So, you might be wondering why I'm in city. That's because the mod is right over there behind that wall. Also, I. Not sure, but I think it's thunderstorm because I'm hearing blah, 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 outside. So I don't know if it's thunderstorming, but if it is, then ah, ah. anyway. So let's get into the video. All right. So if we go over here, as you can see, this is not normal. Also, look at these buttons. They show you what the models look like. By the way, this was made by this guy named. Nacho engine, so should give him all the support. But look at this. So bobbling baboon, baboon. Look at this. I'm now a bobbling baboon. Also, this changes with your um, with with whatever color you are. So like for example, I turn on RBG monkey, it changes my color. Right, and that's and that only works for some. And then we got. This guy named Beautiful Boy. But yeah, so this is the player model mod. It's really cool because you because you can download some, put them into the files, and then you can get a cool player model. So yeah, I definitely recommend searching it up on YouTube to see how to get it because these things are really cool. And like there's Beautiful Boy, you know. Yeah, so wait, let me show you what he looks like. This... He's beautiful, boy. He's pretty beautiful. But he also is kind of ugly. No offense. Please don't give me hate. Anyway, and we got this guy, Character Stump. You want to know who it's made by? Lemming, the creator of the whole game. So, this is actually really cool. I think I'll, I think I'll play as this thing. Uh, when I'm, I'm banned, I'll probably play with people like this. By the way, this is client sided. I'm, but I like it might just fully be client sided, but I don't know, cause I have I like I don't know if it's like the cosmetics mod where if you if someone else has a mod and they have the same exact cosmetics that you got custom cosmetics that you have on, then they can see it and you can see theirs. I don't know if it's like that with player models, but I as but just. I'm just guessing that it's just client side. Like, if you go into a, in a lobby and there's people who don't have the player model mod, they won't be able to see you as this. They'll just see you as a normal monkey. So, yeah, it's just a little disclaimer. Ooh. Alright, then we got this Dark Deception Monk, which I actually downloaded in the Nacho Engine Discord, made by V. And a lot of people know what Dark Deception is. Like, it's kind of hard to not know. But this is um, the, the monster that you have to escape in the first um, first level you go through, first chapter. I don't know if they call it chapter, but it's the first one you have to get through. And these little critters were like, <laughs> They're like, yeet. Yeah, so they pretty much just go like this, right towards you. And more of them spawn as you progress and it gets more harder and harder. You all know what the Dark Deception is, probably, hopefully, maybe. <laughs> Most of these just get ruined completely when it's tagged. We have this one, which is actually really cool, made by Nacho Engine himself. The Hazmat Gorilla. So, you all probably know that. Oh, yeah, by the way, some of these guys have uh, actually have working, like... Working fingers, but it's only with the new ones, and it's really cool. And I forgot to test that out with uh, no, wait, never mind, those ones didn't have any. Yeah, so this is the hazmat gorilla. You all know what the back rooms is, probably. Hopefully, please, if you don't know it, then just search up cane pixel reaction. But um, this is a hazmat gorilla, it's the suits that they wear for the back rooms. 
And it's really cool because also whenever you get tagged or anything, something weird actually is that the whole suit turns in the lava, but your head doesn't. I actually find that really cool because if the player model works, works like a cosmetics mod and you both have it on, like you're all playing with it, it will look pretty cool. And then we got Kyle the robot. And for people who've seen those videos, Kyle the robot's uh, original thing went from Unity, but this was the first model for uh, for Gorilla Tag when Lemming was just testing the game. And Kyle the robot's pretty cool if you ask me. I mean, they brought five fingers. I can actually like if these fingers were working, and I have five buttons. Flip you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But yeah, so that's Kyle the robot. Made by Unity. And we got Larg Gibbon by Turbo Alligator. This is his model that he made for the game that he has just now made, which sadly is not on Apple Lab right now. Or not on like, SideQuest, but here it is. It's the Goofy Ob Gibbon boy. <laughs> yeah, so this is Gibbon. Pretty cool. Made by Turbo Alligator. Go check that guy out. But. And then we have Robot Monkey, which is personally like one of my favorites. Oh yeah, and also has this also. So this is a new one. Um, but anyway, it's Rob. This is called the Robot Monkey, and it's made by S Three Dragon. And wait, let's see how much changes whenever you. Oh, that's cool. So kind of like almost everything changed besides those like some of those parts. Parts. Yeah, so this is the robot. My opinion. Oh wait. Oh, that's so cool. But um, I just want to get back to Red Bro. Alright, yeah. So this is the robot. Robot. Robot monkey. Right, anyway, so now moving on to the next one. We got the Scooby Doo, but he's ten foot two. By Savage Dinos. So as you can see, looks like a really messed up Scooby Doo avatar. When you go in the mirror, <laughs> Scooby Dooby Doo, we're coming after you. Gonna solve this mystery. Yeah. So hold on. If I um, if I put my camera here, lock it in place. I think I'm gonna need a. Yeah, it seems about right. So and then. You can see his head right there. <laughs> Scooby Dooby Doo, we're coming after you. Gonna solve this mystery. And it's gonna flee. Now, let's go on to the second one. Come on. Yeah, so you can see that right there. Alright, yeah. Yeah, so this is Scooby Doo. Made by Savage Dinos. Then here is here's another version of his thing. This is like the version that um has like the big bump. It's like one of those monkeys that goes like ba 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 ba. Yes, this is also made by Tur Turbo Alligator, but I've already checked one of his out, so it's not really as much. As you, as you can see, everything changes besides his face and the bump. So this is. Sai Siamang Gorilla Gibbon, I meant. Uh, and then now we have Skeleton, the one you've all probably been waiting for. This is him when he's tagged as lava, rock, and ice, and normal also. So this is personally probably like my favorite. Also, yes, this one does have it, so <laughs> yeah, but it's just so cool being like um this guy. And he's being to go like bang 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 it's so funny cause you can like go to places like okay that didn't work out whatever um yeah but anyway um, yeah, so, the skeleton is, has to be my personal favorite. By the way, I'm banned, so I can't show you any of the cosmetics on, but, 
if you have a cosmetic on, then it will go with the player model. And the player model is really big head or something, then it probably won't show, like, hat cosmetics or anything. So, that's just a little heads up. And then we have Spongebob. <laughs> Red Spongebob. Let me change that. Okay. Whatever. Green Spongebob. Who cares? Oh, wait, no, wait, Rainbow Spongebob still. Free, free, free. Alright. Now it's normal Spongebob. Well, I guess besides, like, how it kind of gets affected by everything, but... Well, what the... Okay, that's weird, but... Yeah, so here's Spongebob. He has really long arms. And somebody gets tagged. So, and then we have last... Yeah, this one made by CGK, and this one made by Nacho. And, yeah. And then we have the ape, which is literally a normal ape. <laughs> so, that's it when it gets tagged. Alright, now, yeah, so here's the ape. Really funny, because you can actually... Yeah, so, the ape by Odd Man, whatever in God's name that is. And then we have the chimp, which you all hopefully know who this is. This is made by the luscious man, beautiful man, Trout VR, you can see. So anyway, yeah. So this is Trout, this is Trout's model for his game, which actually has a quest build out right now. I don't know if multiplayer is coming for it. I haven't checked the Discord in a little bit, but yeah. So this is his thing from his games. It's, you should honestly check him out. His name, yeah. So his thing is Trout VR, and he's a really good creator. But since but come of good development comes a long time until announcements or videos. So yeah. This Trout's epic, luscious, beautiful model by Trout VR, as you can see. Oh, yeah, and it's new, so cool. Then we have Toon Gorilla, which is almost the last one. What was that? Okay, whatever, so there's Toon Gorilla, I don't know if that's made by, and then there's Among Us guys, <laughs> so funny, um, made by someone else, so, yeah, um, that's gonna be the end of the video, and goodbye. Oh no, I'm falling, I'm gonna die, right, 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 right.